you can be also accused of inciting violence. I am inciting the youth to think about their future in Goa. Otherwise, the same youth is going to have an exodus. What if that inciting leads to violence? Let it lead to violence. Before that, the government should act. You are the government. I have, the, I have just gone to the chief minister and come. I have told him, I have given him a clear uh, one-page note on what is the state of affairs and what can be done to reverse this. And he has promised me he is going to take action. He has to take action. Otherwise, you will see violence. And that violence you deserve. Ideologically, Vijay Sardesai has always been more comfortable with Congress than the BJP. Should have been. Vijay Sardesai was a youth Congress president before Girish Chodanka. So if there but, was... But why, why I had to leave the Congress? Why I was thrown out and I was pushed out of the Congress? Right. It, it, it has have the, uh, a different situation been created by anyone. For me to think otherwise... Or if the situation gets created, you will think otherwise. Any person thinks. Think. Any person. There is always a response to stimulus. Think. That is why the emergence of the third front as a formidable force in these elections. It is though exit polls are not allowed, but some secret exit polls indicate that the third force is actually a third force. It is not a very small marginal force. It's a daring statement coming from an NDA partner. No, no it, is a, it is a very formidable force. Are you comfortable in NDA? I, see, I got into NDA through Parikar. So, when Parikar is not there, we will have to certainly see how it behaves with this. Certainly, the level of comfort was more when Parikar was around. And after that, after his death... You are in a wait and watch zone. Yeah, in the beta watch as far as the NDA is concerned, surely.